Nuclear Reactions Nuclear reactions are those reactions wherein a nucleus, when bombarded with nucleons or other subatomic particles, undergoes a change in their composition. Types of Nuclear Reactions Nuclear reactions are broadly classified as nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear Fission Reactions the process of splitting of a heavy nucleus into a number of light nuclei with the liberation of tremendous amount of energy and two or three neutrons is called nuclear fission. Liquid drop model and nuclear fission. According to Bohr's liquid drop model, a nucleus is always spherical in shape. A nucleus contains positively charged protons and neutrons which are neutral. In the stable state, the repulsive force between the protons tries to pull the nucleus apart. This repulsive force is balanced by a strong nuclear force of attraction between the nucleons. Note, nuclear force is a short-range force which is inversely proportional to the distance between the nucleons. Whenever slow-moving neutrons are made to hit a heavy nucleus, the nucleus absorbs one of the neutrons. This disturbs the equilibrium between the nucleons. As a result, the electrostatic force of repulsion becomes more dominant than the nuclear force of attraction, resulting in a constriction in the nucleus. Due to the constriction, the distance between the nucleons increases and the electrostatic force of repulsion increases. This increase in electrostatic force of repulsion deepens the constriction further and eventually the nucleus splits, releasing two or three neutrons. Types of Nuclear Fission Reactions Nuclear fission reactions are classified as controlled and uncontrolled fission reactions. Uncontrolled Fission Reaction In an uncontrolled fission reaction, all the three neutrons released during the fission reaction bombard with another three U-235 nuclei and release enormous amount of heat energy and nine neutrons. These nine neutrons in turn hit another nine U-235 nuclei and release 27 neutrons and heat energy. This reaction continues as long as U-235 nuclei are present in the fuel. This reaction can lead to an explosion as enormous amount of heat energy is released when a U-235 atom undergoes fission reaction. This type of reaction in which a particle which initiates the reaction is produced as one of the products of the reaction is referred to as chain reaction. The reaction that is taking place in an atom bomb is an uncontrolled fission reaction. Controlled nuclear fission reaction the uncontrolled fission reaction can be controlled and the heat energy released can be used to produce electricity. Given here is a schematic representation of controlled fission reaction. A slow-moving neutron is made to hit a nucleus of U-235 and out of the three neutrons released, only one is made to hit a nucleus of U-235, that is, the number of uranium atoms undergoing fissions is constant at any given time. Rods of cadmium or boron are used to absorb the other two neutrons. One of the applications of the controlled chain reaction is generation of electricity. Nuclear fusion reaction Nuclear fusion is a reaction in which two or more light nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus releasing an enormous amount of energy. Nuclear fusion takes place at a very high temperature of the order of 10 to the power 7 K. Hence, nuclear fusion reaction is called thermonuclear reaction. Nuclear fusion is the type of reaction taking place inside the sun. Inside the core of the sun, fast-moving hydrogen nuclei combine to form helium nucleus. Nuclear fusion is the basic principle of the hydrogen bomb.